Wi-Fi routers are at the center of everyone's digital life at home, whether you want them to be or not. So it's kind of essential to have a really good Wi-Fi router system in your home, but the problem typically comes when you want the best, like latest cutting edge Wi-Fi standard built into that router because those routers typically cost a lot of money. That's where a brand like Dynalink comes in, an upstart house brand of the Taiwanese company ASCII who focuses on creating connective products, but importantly, products that are cost effective and provide a lot of value. That's what they've done with their latest Dynalink Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. It packs in the latest Wi-Fi standards, but at an affordable price. It currently sells for a very affordable $349 on Amazon at the time of recording. But are the speeds you get any good, and is this thing a pain to set up? Let's take that last question first. Overall, the setup for this router is incredibly straightforward. You just download the Dynalink app, go through the steps, scan the QR codes at the bottom of the routers, and you're good to go. I didn't have any issues when initially setting up this system. The app is pretty simple, nicely designed, and I like that when it asks you to make a choice, like for DHCP setup, for example, it actually explains to you which you may want to choose instead of just assuming you already know what DHCP is. Another area where it does this brilliantly is by giving you a tip that if you're replacing another router to just use the same network name and password that you had before. So all of your devices will connect to the new router seamlessly without any additional steps. So how about those speeds? Well, in my limited testing, and keep in mind this is not a long-term review, we're just showcasing what the router can do initially, the speeds are pretty good, which you would expect given the specs of this router system. Because it's rated for Wi-Fi 6E, that means it has the new six gigahertz band that makes Wi-Fi 6E different from Wi-Fi 6. And it also has support for the new 160 megahertz channel, which uses the 5.9 gigahertz range and is common on newer Wi-Fi 6E routers. Basically what this does is it improves your overall network performance by allowing Wi-Fi 6 devices to connect to the router system using this new 5.9 gigahertz band, which should typically have less congestion on your network than other bands. Now keep in mind that for a device to connect to the six gigahertz band, it actually needs to support the Wi-Fi 6E standard and be able to connect to that six gigahertz band. And not all devices that you buy, even today, are Wi-Fi 6E supported. Like for example, Apple just started putting Wi-Fi 6E in their new computers, like the new Mac Studio. But if you have devices that do support Wi-Fi 6, they'll likely still be able to take advantage of the 5.9 gigahertz band and see a performance boost. For the connection between the mesh routers, Dynalink uses the six gigahertz band as a wireless backhaul. And while my home internet is nowhere near the 10.2 gigabits per second Dynalink system is claim to be capable of, in terms of how it compares to other Wi-Fi 6E systems I've tested, so far its speeds compare very well. Next, let's talk about range. The system is rated for up to 6,000 square feet with two routers and up to 200 devices on the network simultaneously. It features a Qualcomm Maple 1.0 GHz dual core 64-bit CPU, supports WPA3 security protocols, and has two dedicated networks, one for guests as well as one for IoT devices, which is great to see at this price point. As for exterior design, Dynalink gives you a no-frills, simple tower design with a matte white finish, building the enclosure around the antennas, which typically in my experience means you're going to get better performance. Status light indicators are in the front and ports are in the back with each of the two routers having identical ports, with each one having a WAN slash LAN port and one dedicated one gigabit LAN port. Next, let's look at a few more features in the Dynalink app. The app's home screen has a simple dashboard view that shows you the total number of devices connected to the network. Network. There's also a Wi-Fi tab at the bottom that you can select to get your Wi-Fi network password settings, where you can enable the six gigahertz band, which creates a separate network for your six gigahertz devices to be able to connect to the router, a shortcut to parental controls, and then QoS, which stands for quality of service. For the Dynalink router system, this setting will help enhance devices network performance of certain profiles by offering dedicated bandwidth and lower latency. You can set the profile you want 
to set as high priority in the parental controls section. So for example, if your child has a gaming device as part of their profile in parental settings, when they complain to you about bandwidth issues, you could always just create a profile, call it gaming, and just leave it as always prioritized. You can create up to 16 profiles. Profiles within parental controls allow you to assign devices to a specific profile and schedule pauses. So for example, all of your kids' Wi-Fi enabled devices won't work at night. And you can also set content restrictions by adding keywords of websites that you want blocked. So that's parental controls. Now the last few things to mention in the router settings are the ability to set a time zone, turn the LED status lights on the front of the routers either on or off, and an area for advanced settings where you'll need to log into the router via a website in order to be able to set those. So that's the Dynalink mesh Wi-Fi router system. It's an affordable Wi-Fi 6E mesh system from an upstart brand. And if you'd like to learn more about it, I've left a link in the description below. And make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content on Wi-Fi routers and other tech products. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.